Hi, greetings everyone. In this video, we will see how to sort the tasks and resources. In project, you can sort the tasks, resources and assignments in several ways to make them easier to search for. You might sort the tasks by duration when you are looking for the tasks to shorten or sort the resources by their pay rates when you are trying to reduce the costs. When you sort the tasks, it's better to turn off the summary tasks. So we'll go to the format tab here. I'll disable the option project summary task and the summary tasks. Now I have the work tasks in front of me. To sort these tasks, go back to the view tab and click on sort. And you can see that there are several built-in sorts. So let's start with start date. So I'll sort based on the start date. Now if you see here, all my dates are in the chronological order. But if you have the cost cutting initiative going on, you might want to sort by costs. So go back to the sort, choose the costs. But right now here in this example, I don't have any cost available with me. You can sort that largest to smallest. If you want to get the tasks back into the original order, you can go to the sort drop down. If you want to get the task back into the original order on the sort drop down menu, choose by ID. And then it sorts by the task ID. So now the task IDs are in the sequential order, but you can also sort directly in the column heading. To do that, click the down arrow here in the duration. In the duration column, here you can see that the menu appears and up at the top, there's a smallest to largest sorting. Click on that. If I want to find a task with the longest duration in my project, you can see the best ones to shorten. I'll choose largest to smallest. And if I want it to be arranged in the sequential order from ascending to descending, you can click on smallest to largest. And now you can see it starts with the smallest duration and works its way down to the shorter ones. The option you see varies on the column. So if I click down arrow in the start column, it sorts earliest to latest. So you can sort by more than one criteria. In fact, up to three. So to do that, click the down arrow key in the sort button and click on sort by. Now we already have the sort by start. I'll make this to duration. Which I want it to be from largest to smallest. And then I want to sort it based on the start date. Which will be in ascending order. And then I'll click on sort now here if you see the duration is in descending order and my start date is in the chronological order sorting also works for the resources so let's look at the resource sheet go to the resource sheet here Sorting also works for the resources. So let's look at the resource sheet here. In this case, the resources in this project are a little bit jumbled. So we have got different types of resources together and it needs to be cleaned up a little bit. We can do that 
by sorting. So the first thing to do is on the view tab, click the sort button and choose sort by. Now here, if you see by default they have mentioned as name. I want that the first thing it should sort based on the type. So I'll select here the type. I want the type to be from descending to ascending that is I want the work scores to be mentioned first and then it should sort based on the names. The name I want it alphabetically so I'll keep the ascending option as it is and click on sort. Now here if you see the work resources are all together followed by the material cost and they are alphabetically arranged based on the types. But there's one other thing that you have to do and that's to go back into the sort by box here. If you want to permanently renumber the resources you can check mark this option that's permanently renumber the resources and say sort. And if you have permanently renumbered it and you don't want the other resource sheets to be permanently sorted based on the following option, you can uncheck this option and say sort. Because that will mean that any other time you sort the resources, it would permanently renumber it. And that's not what you want. So turn that off and then just click cancel and now you are all set. So now that you see how easy it is to sort in the project, go ahead and sort your project information to find what you need to improve your schedule or resolve the issues. I hope the concept is clear to you. Thank you.